please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this. And also share this video with your friends. Explain what is dynamic range. It is defined as a range over which a relationship exists between assay response and analyte concentration. Explain what is a positive control. Positive control is a specimen having the analyte at a concentration above a specific limit. What do you mean by a confirmatory test? For an ambiguous identification of drug or metabolites in the sample, alternative chemical method is used, also known as a second test. Explain what is co-chromatography. Co-chromatography is the procedure used to detect an unknown substance by comparing the chromatic comparison with a known substance. Explain what is calibration curve. Calibration curve is the relationship between the various concentration of analyte in a suitable solvent or matrix and the signal's response of the instrument. What is blank? Blank is a term is used to refer the sample tube which does not contain the analyte. Explain what is supernatant. When sample is rotated into the centrifuge, it will separate the mixture according to the density. Supernatant is the upper layer found in the sample after it is run into centrifuge. Explain what is laboratory centrifuge. Laboratory centrifuge is primarily used for testing liquids and substances for clinical trial samples. This device uses the centrifugal force to separate the liquids from the main sample or mix. What are the factors on which the gas sterilization depends on? Gas sterilization depends on factors like concentration of the gas, humidity, time of exposure, temperature, nature of the load. Explain what is gas sterilization. In gas sterilization, chemicals like ethylene oxide and mixture based on the substance are used for sterilizing substances. They are highly flammable and potentially explosive in nature. They are mixed with inert gases to neutralize their explosive nature. Explain what is the difference between sterilization and disinfection. The thorough sterilization of all microbes present on the surgical instrument is referred as sterilization. Disinfection, while reducing the total number of microbes, below the risk level is referred as disinfection. Why pipetting training is crucial for clinical technician? By having a proper pipette training always helps to minimize the risk of volume variability caused by operators. Also, a small fraction of change in pipetting can give you the wrong result. Explain what is GLP. GLP means good laboratory practice. It is a framework or pattern under which research work are planned, performed, monitored, recorded, reported and archived. What are the responsibilities of laboratory technician? Responsibilities of clinical lab technician varies with the department you are assigned to. But usually it involves wide range of testing, running complex analysis, examine blood cells with microscope, scanning of specimen, using expensive chemicals wisely, maintaining and monitoring various equipments, checking contamination in chemicals at regular interval. What are the common errors done by technician while handling pipette? Failure to prevent the pipette tip, disregarding temperature, temperature equilibrated, tip wiping over and again, choosing wrong pipetting mode, working too quickly, pipetting at a wrong angle, using wrong pipette tips. Explain why GLP is followed in the lab. Following GLP standard minimizes the chance of error occur due to humans. It supports for product registration, also assures the suitability of data to the regulatory authorities. It helps to reduce the cost of industry and governments by avoiding duplicative testing. It helps to recreate a study from the recorded data and information. What are different sterilization methods used in laboratory? The most common methods of sterilization practiced in lab are dry heat, wet heat, 
by using solvents, filtration, radiation. Explain what is clinical lab audit. A clinical lab audit is done in order to maintain and operate the lab at a standard level. What are the areas you can do clinical audit? The area that includes in clinical audit are GLP, specimens, turnaround time, purchasing equipments, reagents, and other lab instruments, laboratory reports, storage of reagents and specimens, safety policies and procedures. Define what is aliquot. An aliquot is the known amount of homogeneous material used to minimize the sampling error. It is usually used when fractional part is an exact divisor of the whole. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this. And also share this video with your friends.